You know, it may be hard to believe now, but when when I started talking about Shiba Inu, it hadn't even been around for two years yet. And now we're at this point where we're going on four. We've almost been here for a full market cycle, which is insane. But 1,084 days, there was something that happened that changed the landscape of Shiba Inu forever. It created an idea, something that I think now resonates with a lot of people in, in a good way, but also in a bad way at the same time. So 1,084 days as of yesterday, Vitalik Buterin burned 410 trillion SHIB, over 40% of the supply. All right. Now, what he said about this was that he didn't want to be a locus of power of that kind. So he, he burned 90% of his ship holdings. He gave 10% to charity and basically was like, I'm done, right? Don't want any part of it. So now what this did was it did open up the door for less dumping, all right? Less supply to enter the market, which is a good thing in the long run, all right? And this is where I think this kind of infection started. Many people think that, you know, oh yeah, this is this is what moves price higher. These bur this burning of SHIB, this removing of supply, and it's really not. Burns don't do anything with price. In fact, when he did this burn on May 17th of 2021, it wasn't it wasn't a catalyst in price. It frankly didn't do anything. In fact, when that happened, which you guys could see back here, we essentially traded sideways for another four months. Didn't didn't impact price at all. And that's where I think people start to get this confused. Now, where this does benefit Shiba Inu is that as more supply is removed, it makes it easier to move to higher levels because there's less possible dumping on the market. There's less liquidity that needs to be moved through, all those things like that. And this is what kind of sparked the idea for hyper a hyper deflationary mechanism. So we've talked about, obviously, Shibarium before. Uh, obviously, as you guys may know, I've talked about it. I'm not super happy with the way that, that things are going down that path. I think there's a lot we've lost the focus. We've lost our way along the way, but this idea still resonates that Shiba Inu can become the best store of value in the crypto space through this hyper deflationary mechanism. And I know that many entities are trying to work on, on figuring something out to, to get this, you know, this uptick again, and that'd be great. I, I'm not going to downplay that at all. I would love if there was large portions of Shiba Inu supply removed, but people seem to forget that this is not a necessity. Removing supply is not a necessity to move prices higher. And this market cycle has been a perfect example of that. We've seen how Shiba Inu has done here early in this market cycle. People have said, oh, a SHIB will never break past four zeros, one four, because there's, <coughs> excuse me, too much supply and all these things, right? But the thing is, is adoption is what moves price up, not removing supply. Many people have said that it can't reach certain levels because of, of how much supply is out there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dis or uh, I wouldn't discredit the movement of shit. I wouldn't say that levels aren't possible with natural growth in the market over time. We're going to see assets hit some very surprising levels. You know what we're seeing right now is that Shiba Inu dominance is is continuing to climb. We're in a much better place in this market cycle right now than we were last time around. Okay, Shib is growing. It's gaining new holders. People are finding new, unique ways to utilize SHIB. It's getting exposure to almost every single exchange out there. It's in payment networks. It's an asset that can easily continue to grow over time because it's got the optics. It's got the community behind it. All these things are, are great signs that can push SHIB even further. And I think the biggest thing that people can do is is get this idea of, hey, we need burns to move price. We need, we need burns to you know grow the community. We don't. I'm not going to complain if they happen. I'm not going to complain if it gets figured out. But again, don't don't rely solely on that being the only way, this broken mindset, that's the only way that Shiba Inu can gain ground on the market. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate Val Vitalik for doing that all those years ago, but we'll see what the future brings. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.